Well, here at Property Tribes, our business model is based on reciprocity. And that means that if you've got value from uh, your free membership of our forum, you may like to reciprocate by using the legitimate products and services of our commercial partners and sponsors. Um, and to that end, we're very pleased to welcome a new uh, supplier. And I'm joined here at Mortgages for Business head offices in Kent by MD Steve. So Steve, um, We've spoken before uh, on Property Tribes, but we're welcoming you formally now as a commercial partner. Um, and we're, we're so delighted to have Mortgages for Business on board, award-winning uh, brokerage. Um, tell us a little bit of the overview of the history of, of mortgage, Mortgages for Business, because you're very, very embedded in the buy-to-let sector, aren't you? We are, yes. I mean, we were set up in 1990, um, originally, funnily enough, to source finance for businesses looking for finance for sort of industrial units, hence the name Mortgages for Business. But at that time, sort of early 90s, buy-to-let really took off. Um, and that quickly became the core of our business. Uh, and since then, we've been looking after landlords, helping them grow portfolios, um, and guiding them through some of the complexities, especially in recent years. And you know, the, um, as the market's become more specialist, um, we've always sort of focused on that more specialist end of the buy-to-let market. So we're in a great place now to help landlords, um, both the amateur and the, and the portfolio and professional landlord, to really help them grow their businesses. And um, it's what we love. Yeah. Indeed. When I started out in, in you know, building uh, my personal portfolio, I, I valued my broker so much. Mm. Uh, I remember her so well. Her name's Rebecca. And she was, she was almost like um, my friend on speed dial yeah. because she was such a useful resource to me. I could ring her up, help, get her help stacking deals. And I think that you know, brokers bring so much added value to landlords and, and property developers. Um, and I think now, in the even more challenging conditions mm. than when I started, that they're, they're worth their weight in gold. Yes, and, and as you say, more recently, because it's become more complex. I mean, I think it's over 95% of uh, buy-to-let lenders are now only... Uh, the products are only available through mm -hmm. intermediaries, so, so there's the importance in the in there as well. But yes. but you know our advisors are constantly um, continually keeping up to date with changes in regulation, so that's key and and up to date with what lenders are offering and all their you know their different product nuances. And mm -hmm. there's so many variables now to a buy to let mortgage, you know, with regard to type of property, type of tenants, um, even location and um, how it's let. So um, yes, never be, never. Has it been more important that, to get that advice before get, starting on that journey, certainly? I think so, particularly at the beginning of the journey, you can go to your broker and say, you know, this is my starting point, this is what I want to achieve, and they can help you move towards that. And I genuinely think that, you know, working with a broker, you can be a lot more efficient, mm -hmm. you can probably grow more quickly, particularly if you have access to the whole of market products as well. So many, many advantages uh, to work with a broker. Yes, um, as I say, we've got access to all the lenders, um, and it's not only looking at the the initial transaction, but it's having a chat with that le uh, with the landlord on what their future plans are, because it's um, what they're looking to do in the future may affect what they do on that initial one. You know, whether we tie them into a long term fix, whether they're looking to get equity out to to release deposit monies for the next purchase. So it's a uh, it's quite a, um, a holistic offering of just looking at e everything that they're um, that they're looking for with regard to the, for the transaction, the subject property you're discussing, but also their business plan, and that's quite important. Mm. Mm. Do you think that in, in these current kind of challenging market conditions with the advent of the, the PRA and Section 24, etc., mm. do you think it is more challenging to grow, or do you sit, still see landlords expanding? We're still seeing landlords is expanding, and the, and the mortgage market is is quite buoyant when it comes to buy to let. There's um, an increasing number of lenders looking to get into the buy to let space, um, and it's quite interesting to see how because as the changes have come in with regard to you know PRA regulation, as you're saying, some of the tax changes for landlords. We've seen landlords adapt to that and look for more high yielding properties, mm -hmm. different parts of the country, um, different ways on letting the property, even looking at like holiday lets. 
Um, and we're seeing the lenders now adapt to those needs. Uh, and we've been working quite closely with lenders uh, with product design because we listen to landlords, we survey our customers, we hear what their requirements are, and then we talk to the lenders to design products. Um, and we think that's quite an important part of our service now is to, to keep that market going. But to answer your question, yeah, I mean, um, landlords are still expanding. There's a, there's a great mortgage market out there. Um, and I wouldn't believe all the doom and gloom you hear in some of the newspapers. Yeah. Indeed. And I think, you know, particularly as you become more advanced in what you're doing, um, you're going to start moving into more complex deal structures like maybe bridging finance, mm -hmm. going to term, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, brokers are doing these kind of transactions on a daily basis. They might just have the, that little nugget of information or a certain product that's going to help you take that next step forward. I totally agree, yes. Um, and those, you know, we're seeing landlords now looking for properties that aren't ready to let on day one. So, yeah, they might need some short-term finance, mm -hmm. get it refurbished, and then move it on to, to a specialist buy-to-let product. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, it's, I can only repeat that it's never been as important as ever to, to get advice because mm -hmm. it's so complex out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you hear some horror stories of, of some landlords maybe going to their favourite lender just direct and going all the way through... Um, to the transaction and then just about to get an offer and then something comes out of the woodwork that we would have known, you know, right at the outset. Um, but, you know, they, they would have lost some money, spent a lot of money and then not got the mortgage. Whereas, you know, we do a very robust fact find right at the beginning to make sure that we've covered all the, the angles. So we make sure that we match them up with the right lender and the right product. Mm -hmm. No, I, I do think that's, that's very important. Part of your remit to come on board with Property Tribes is you um, are very keen to be seen as an educator, a commentator, um, you're out and about speaking at events, you, you really want to be part of the community, don't you? Yes, I mean that's one of our values, is making a positive contribution to the, to the industry, um, for the landlord community and the mortgage industry. You know, we're out um, educating brokers on some of the changes that um, have gone on in the buy-to-let market and the commercial markets. Um, but we're also out there um, educating landlords, helping them through the minefield that is a, a buy-to-let mortgage application now, but also with the recent tax changes and, and the regulation that the PRA is putting on the lenders. You know, the, you know, if you've got four or more mortgage properties now, you're a portfolio landlord. Yeah. Uh, and so when lenders look at um, a portfolio landlord, you know, there's a little bit more underwriting in the background now. They need to look at their background portfolio. They need to produce a business plan mm -hmm. and a cash flow forecast. And, 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 and as brokers, we can help landlords with that. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's not just about sorting the finance out, but it's making sure that um, we're providing that you know, more value to the whole journey be, and help them because it's all about longevity relationship as mm. well is looking after that not just the initial transaction but but well into the future we're very delighted to have you um, on property tribes and uh, Steve and his team are going to be on hand they'll be answering questions they'll be joining in with the community discussions so watch out for for them on property tribes um, and uh, if you've got any mortgage requirements at all we will put the contact details on the screen right now for you and also around the Property Tribe site so you can come straight through to Steve and his award-winning team here at Mortgages for Business. So Steve, looking forward to working with you. Thanks Vanessa, thank you.